put out a special memo saying, I need to let you guys know that tomorrow morning Westboro Church is gonna, gonna be here. And I wasn't familiar with the name, but I knew of the group because they're the ones in documentaries that are holding up their signs saying God hates fags, same-sex kids are doomed. So that was something where I had to take inventory myself before God that night. And I said, God, am I good with you? Am I good before you as your child? And I just ran that through because I was confident I'd already had these conversations, you know, prior to coming out before I made that decision to come out. And he said, Holly, you're good before me. And this peace washed over me and I said, okay, I'm good before you. And I also, I was concerned, what if my family and my friends see this on television? I didn't know what to expect, so there was some fear there of what if I'm blasted? You, you just never know that's where with social media where these things are going to end up. So that's why I had to be good before God, because he's the most important to me for who matters. And that morning, it was amazing, and this is where the cover of my book is, so I can't wait for people to see this because it has such special meaning to me. All the protesters were out, but then the city of Portland, all these amazing people came out to support us, and they created what was called the Walk of Love. And they did that as to show their support and how much they loved us, and that they just loved us unconditionally as human beings. And someone pointed out to me, Holly, did you see the rainbow over there? Because that morning it had been raining. And I thought, okay, this is disappointing. I get to beautiful Portland and it's raining. No! Of all days. <laughs> yes, exactly, of all days. And there was this gorgeous rainbow. And I got a picture with these people with their very sad signs holding those up. But then God was a reminder right there. I'm like, hey, I'm here for you. And I love you. And so that's going to be on the cover of my book. So this is my pride and joy here for my future endeavor of, I want to inspire people. It was amazing to come before God as myself with a, a group of like-minded people and it was very empowering. And that's where I want to encourage people and that's part of what my journey is, is having that eternal joy that other people aren't responsible for. It. Of course it's always nice to have everyone's support and feel that love. So you need to surround yourself with those type of people as well. Time heals. Like I can't wait for that day when we don't even have to ask the question, should I reconcile my feet and my uh, sexuality? No. Well, it's frustrating to even have to come out to people. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> like why? I don't come out to people. Or I, you know, people don't come out to me saying, oh, just so you know, I'm straight. You know what I'm just exactly. thinking, why do I have to do that? So I, I try to avoid that now. Yes, uh, yes. I just, I am who I am, and I'm a loving person and a joyful person, and I hope I can better someone else's life if they come into my circle. I was just so happy to meet her in person. So we actually connected through, I'll give them a plug, okay Cupid. We met online. <laughs> <laughs> okay Cupid. And I saw her picture and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then I was reading through her profile. And I'm like, I think she's a Christian too. Because it's just nice to have that same faith as someone. Yes. And we instantly connected. She messaged me back right away. And I said, okay, well, we need to video chat because online you just want to be extra careful but she is the most genuine loving person and it's beautiful she's just such a beautiful person so I just thought okay I need to meet her in person but we developed a relationship over that time just getting to know each other and then in person I was praying okay Lord let the chemistry be the same in person and I made this huge poster to greet her with off the plane so she was totally not expecting this. So it was across, yeah, this poster is special too. So that's all gonna, that story's gonna be in my book. When I stepped off the plane, instant connection. I was like, thank you, God. When I saw her, she, looking into her eyes and just feeling her presence was so joyful and so beautiful. So 
it, it was, it's been a whirlwind since that time. I've never seen you so happy. Like those photos are friends oh, on Facebook, so I know. Those photos are like, whoa, <laughs> my darling friend is so happy and so in love. It's like, I feel like I've met Lovan because right. she's all over you and she's very, we feel the connection. Well, how are we going to well, in the Philippines though? Well, yes, what but I, I, I do want to share the other thing unless we discuss it with her. Do you want, is it okay for me to video chat her? Yeah, and bring her on. We're going to surprise her. Okay. Oh, here she is. Hi. Hi, baby. Hey, hi, I'm Jackie. We want to make sure that you're seen on camera as well. You're on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about your amazing relationship. Have you been having a lot of uh, invites to guests to like share your story? We have to be very open to communicating and sharing what's going on in our feelings and, yes. and it's very prayer based so when one of us is feeling upset or lonely that we're apart oh. it comes down to praying together and like okay God's in control and just believing that he wants us to be together that this is part of his plan and we believe that so that definitely helps yeah. otherwise it would be so so trying in an even harder way. That's true, yeah. especially the time difference. It makes it doubly hard. The yes. distance of the time difference, like today, yes. like 14 hours apart. 14 apart, so you're ahead, but that's 14 hours uh, total. Well, that's our so. joke, is that she's my future, because there are times ahead, and I'm already part of her past. <laughs> 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 and the present is just like, just now. Yes. We're just living the now. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the reason why I wanted also, I was telling Polly, it's nice to talk about your relationship because it's mm -hmm. good to share with others who, some of them are afraid to talk about their relationship, right? Some of them sure. are afraid to like get involved because they're already thinking, what if the negative things, like, you know, yes. you think, what if it's going to work? So it's nice Definitely. to share your story, like yours, because you have a long distance relationship. Time, the time difference is so difficult. But here you are. How long have you been? Um, to, uh, I can say together because you're far from yes. each other. How long has it been since you met? Since January. Oh my gosh. Since and January. so we got to spend we got to spend a beautiful two weeks together, and that was a whirlwind, and that was amazing. I got to meet some of Levan's beautiful friends, uh -huh. and. Just such an amazing support base that she has over there as well. So I'm excited to introduce her to my circle here as well, to my yes. family and friends. Everyone's waiting to meet her. And hopefully, yeah, we'll be doing a book launch and touring around, sharing our story and Aww. inspiring joy to other people as well. And make sure that yeah. you invite us to the launch. Because we be there. Definitely. I'd be honored to have you there. Oh, always. And the entire family will be there. Can I
and just going through different events that have shaped my life to be who I am today. Wow. So a lot of things that people don't know about me that they're curious, especially coming from a marriage of 19 years wow, and cool. going from that. So that takes people by surprise when they find out I've had three kids. <laughs> How can you be gay? So people are always wanting, you know, they're curious and they're wanting to know what happened for you to be this way. So that's where it's going to show that even for me, it's been an extremely healing process of looking back and seeing different events that took place and thinking, wow, it took me so long to know that this is who I was because yeah. I was in denial. I couldn't even be in denial of something that I didn't know. Yes. I was because I was just me and I didn't question that. Again, another thing where it's going to, my book is going to be eye-opening to people because you don't typ typically get into those deep things with people you don't know and yet, you know, I feel it's important to share that That's and true. to let people know, hey, I'm not filled with darkness and, you know, because there's such a heavy, heavy shadow on this topic. That's true. That's difficult and I want people, I want to inspire people, let them know, hey, they're is victory in your life on how you live it and you should be allowed to have the confidence you want and the joy you want and that that doesn't change you so calling everyone in the lgbtq community yes. um, know that you're loved this is holly she has a beautiful story to share with us and i can't yes. wait to talk about it once it's out right yeah. so to share whatever she has here it's definitely valuable so hang in there holly do you Thank have a message for those who are giving up for those who are scared for those who feel like they're being persecuted because of their sexuality what do you want to tell them right now i think what's important at that stage when you're feeling feeling alone is reaching out there are groups out there so if it's faith related that's bothering you and so many people struggle with that and they do feel alone um, there are groups there are Christian groups LGBT that you can reach out to um, I'm going to include that again in my book but you can find that online and not even you know people struggle even without dealing with that extra added pressure of faith that I don't know that are not religious and you know, we're all in the same boat, we're all struggling with the same things, and it's important to reach out, so whether that's through counseling, or getting advice in that way to get you through that hard time, because feelings change. That's what, that's what I realized, is a feeling can change in a moment through someone reaching out to you in kindness, in some way they may not even realize that they impacted you. Mm -hmm. Going to, going to conferences, finding meeting groups. Um, so there's a group called Dear John, I Love Jane that's in Vancouver. There's community which offers counseling groups to get together with so you don't feel so alone. There's so many organizations that you can reach out to for, for support. That's good. And, we and trusted friends. friends. So, trusted friends. Yeah. That's true, that's true. And yeah. we've heard stories where some of the kids um, are not accepted at home once they talked about their sexuality, um, you are loved by your family, we just want because I am a parent too, and you know, we love our children no matter what, so don't think that your parents don't love you if they showed any uh, rejection, sometimes it takes, takes time, give them the opportunity to show you that they've accepted you, because um, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the family is always family, right? And yes. again, as Holly yes. says, if right now you're feeling alone and you think you've been rejected by the closest people, those that you love so much, don't give up. Don't give up. Because in time, you know, everybody's gonna be just as, I don't even call it, at this point, do you probably call it courage? Because not everybody yes. wants to uh, show who they really are. But one and day, it's not just, it's not about courage, it's about just being yeah. yourself. Yeah, and really it's about the individual, so yeah. some people don't have that family support, they don't, depending on what their parents' upbringing was and what they went through, and maybe they're jaded by life, and they're putting all their hurts onto those of us yeah. that are trying to be vulnerable yeah. and gain their respect and their love by, by being open to them, and it doesn't work out 
for everyone. So it's important to find to find people that you can trust that look you up. That that is really important. And life goes on. Yeah. Right? Life goes on. Enjoy life. Enjoy the moment. And just as we're doing now. So again, thank you. Thank you yes, so thank much, you. Holly. Thank you so and much. Uh, don't forget to watch for Holly Sky's book. I'm aiming for February 2019. If it happens sooner, that would be amazing, and I will let you know and put that out there. But that's my goal to give myself a little bit of breathing room. Good, good. I was actually planning for this one. I thought mm, maybe that's too ambitious because I want to make sure that everything's very yeah. thoughtful and, and prayerful in it. So, oh, and it's yeah. worth the wait. Something beautiful is always worth the wait. We never rush beautiful things. Don't we? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's uh, with conviction. Okay, so we say yeah. bye. Yes. And it was lovely having you. We would yes. have a Thank better you. guest for this annual kind of Thank you. Love to all.